In this video, I'm going to introduce you to six essential vocal booth accessories that will help you capture better recordings, make your recording sessions run smoother, and prompt better performances from the vocalists that you record. Hello, my name is Charles Hoffman from BlackOastAudio.com. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to produce better music fast, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on tips, tutorials, and gear roundups. The recording gear that you probably already have includes a microphone, a mic stand, a shock mount if your mic isn't internally shock mounted, a pop filter, and a pair of headphones. This is all pretty standard recording gear that you'll find in a vocal booth, so the accessories we're gonna take a look at are gonna complement this gear in one way or another. I've included affiliate links to the products mentioned throughout this video below, which provide Black Coast Audio with a small commission when you make a purchase. So using these links to buy gear you're interested in is a great way to help support the channel. First up is a second mic stand. So why do you need this? Well, a lot of people mount their pop filter to the mic stand that their microphone is attached to, but the problem the problem with doing this is that the bursts of air from a vocalist's mouth hitting your pop filter can send vibrations through the mic stand. In your recordings, these vibrations manifest themselves as metallic resonance, which is generally best to avoid. By attaching your pop filter to a secondary mic stand, the vibrations that run through the stand won't reach your microphone, which means you'll capture cleaner recordings. You can also attach some other accessories we're going to take a look at to this mic stand. Get yourself a headphone hook. You can attach it to your mic stand so that your vocalist has a place to hang their headphones when they're not using them. You don't want your vocalist to take their headphones off and then be standing there awkwardly with them not really knowing what to do so as basic as this is it does help you can get a tray with a cup holder in it that attaches to your mic stand giving your vocalist a place to put their belongings they might have their phone with them a set of house keys maybe a wallet all of which they can just dump onto this tray when they perform the cup holder is a nice little added bonus you want your vocalist to remain hydrated so it's a good idea to give them a bottle of water if they don't drink enough water throughout the day and during their vocal session they can actually damage their vocal fold tissues beyond that staying hydrated will also help them deliver a more articulate performance you can get a cheap headphone amp to allow your vocalist to control the level of their own headphone mix from within the vocal booth they might want to turn up their headphone mix during quiet sections or down during loud sections by providing them with this control they can set the level of their headphone mix however they want and you don't have to deal with it. To set this up, you need to route your vocalist's stereo headphone mix to two of the line outputs on your audio interface, one for the left channel and one for the right channel. Then you need to connect these line outputs to the input of the headphone amp. My particular headphone amp has one stereo input, so what I had to do was use a Y cable adapter to sum the two line signals coming from my audio interface together and then pass the resulting stereo signal into my headphone amp. On the back of the headphone amp, your vocalist plugs in their headphones and then controls the level of their headphone mix using the available knob. Most headphone amps allow multiple people to connect their headphones at once, so if you're recording a duet or a group of people singing into an omnidirectional mic, this is a good way to provide everyone with a headphone mix that they can adjust the level of independently. There are personal monitor mixers out there that provide your performer with a ton of control over their headphone mix, giving them the ability to punch tracks in and out of the mix, but they tend to be quite expensive. I've included my budget-friendly headphone amp recommendation below. Providing your vocalist with a charging cable for their phone is especially important if the lyrics to the song they're singing are saved on their phone. You don't want someone to show up for the recording session without their lyrics memorized with a dead phone and then not be able to charge it in the vocal booth. You should get a fairly long charging cable so that your vocalist can perform with their phone plugged in if they need to. It's also a good idea to get a charging cable with multiple different connectors on the end. That way, it doesn't matter if they're using an iPhone or a Samsung. Give your vocalist a stool. It could be a wooden stool, stool on wheels, just give them something they can sit down on in the booth. If you need to spend five minutes troubleshooting something on your computer, your vocalist doesn't need to be standing up. They can take a little break, relax, and just sit down. You have to remember that your vocalist is human, so they get tired. The more you can do to take the strain off them, the more energy they'll have to put into a great performance. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and if you want to learn how to produce better music fast, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on tips, tutorials, and gear roundups. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Dr. Cross.